Hi guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to solve question number 9 of exercise 4.3 of NCERT class 10th. The question is, two water taps together can fill a tank in 9 and 3 eighths hours. The tap of larger diameter takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately. Find the time in which each tap can separately fill the tank. So we have to find the time taken by tap 1 and tap 2. So let us start solving this. Suppose first tap which is larger diameter takes time x hours to fill the tank separately and second tap takes time y hours to fill the tank separately. Okay. So first tap can fill 1 by x part of the tank in an hour and second tab can fill 1 by y part of the tank in an hour. Okay? Since it is given that together they can fill whole part of tank in 9 and 3 hours, this implies part of the tank filled by first tab in 9 and 3 hours plus part of the tank filled by second tab in same time is equal to whole part or 1. Okay? This implies 9 and 3 eighths times 1 by x that is part of the tank filled by first tab plus uh, part of the tank filled by second tab that means this quantity is equal to 1. We can take common factor as 9 and 3 eighths from this expression and further it will reduce to 75 over 8 times 1 by x plus 1 by y is equal to 1. This implies 1 by x plus 1 by y is equal to 8 by 75. Let us take as equation 1. It is also given that tab of larger diameter takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately. This implies y minus x is equal to 10. And this implies y is equal to 10 plus x. Let us consider it as equation 2. By Substituting the value of y from equation 2 to equation 1, we will get 1 by x plus 1 by 10 plus x is equal to 8 by 75. Now, upon simplifying, we will get 10 plus 2x over x times the quantity 10 plus x is equal to 8 by 75. We can observe clearly here that 2 is common factor in the numerator. So, let us cancel that one and we will get 5 plus x by 10x plus x squared is equal to 4 over 75. Now we can easily cross multiply the terms and we will get 75 times 5 plus x is equal to 4 times the quantity 10x plus x squared. Okay? By multiplying term by term we will get 75 times 5 plus 75 times x is equal to 4 times 10 that is 40x plus 4x squared. Okay? Now taking the all terms on one side or left hand side we will get 4x squared minus 35x minus 75 times 5 is equal to 0. Further we can split 35 as minus 60x plus 25x. Okay? So that we can take common factor from this term as 4x and it will give one factor as x minus 15 and further we can take common factor from these terms 25 and we will get x minus 15. Further we can take x minus 15 as common factor and we will get other factor as 4x plus 25. Now we can easily find out the value of x from this expression which is equal to x is equal to 15 or negative 25 over 4. Okay? Since x is time, so it cannot be negative quantity. Hence, it is x is equal to 15. Okay? From equation 2, y is equal to 10 plus x. So, we will substitute the value from here and we will get y is equal to 25. Hence, First tab can fill the tank in 15 hours and second tab can fill the tank in 25 hours. So this is the answer for this question. Thanks for watching. Till then, goodbye.